Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Shelly Home Design. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how I built this really cool hidden bookcase door in the basement of my apartment. So the downstairs part of my apartment is actually a basement and there were three doors. There was the one that's to the right of this one and then there's another one that is behind it. And I thought that with this one, it was kind of just an empty space. And I wanted something really cool and different. So I wanted to do a hidden bookcase door. So this is what it looks like first. And it was just an empty like doorway area and it was not very pretty and it was kind of awkward. So I found a bookcase that I had laying around and it kind of fit really well in the area. And it was small enough that there was enough clearance for it to be able to be on hinges and swing back and forth. Now you'll see in the future there is a bit of space at the top because it wasn't quite as tall as I needed it to be, but I remedied that later on. So I'm just kind of measuring out the door right now and yeah. So then what I decided to do was put a wheel on the back bottom corner of the door. And that's to help hold some of the weight that the door will be holding and because it's gonna be on hinges. So you wanna put some wheels. Now I actually did add two wheels. I don't do it in this, but in the finished product there are two wheels to maintain the weight. Now I am just drilling holes and measuring where I want these hinges to go. These are really heavy duty hinges. And so I'm marking where I want them to go and I put pilot holes in the spot and then drill them in. And so now I am screwing them into place And now I am placing the door in the area and I'm going to cut to a little time lapse of me putting it in. This is what it is looking like after I've placed it on the hinges. Now these are really strong hinges so we're good and you still have just the one wheel there but I do add a second one in right next to it in the future. And so now I'm testing how it closes and I'm putting in all of the little shelves that are there and I actually do end up screwing these shelves in so that they are permanent. And now I am doing some measuring because I'm going to case this with one by fours. And you can see a little bit at the very top of the video that there is a bit of space. I do fix that during this time lapse. So after I measure it out and put all of the one by fours in place, then I go through and caulk the area and then I paint the area. Now you'll notice above the door that I actually added an applique and I made that out of hot glue and in the future if you guys request I can show you how I make these appliques. They make a huge difference to the finished product and can make it look a lot nicer. So here is how to do the back. First you're going to want to choose a book and then you're going to drill a hole above where the book is going to go in your bookcase and then I added this washer just to give it a little bit more stability and then on the other side the same thing 
And then I have this piece, it's not very pretty on the back, but I'm not worried about it. I have this piece of wood and attached to it is a latch and then we have a hook thingy. Um, and so this latch is going to have a piece of string attached to it right here and it's going to go through this hole which I have filed nice and smooth. There's going to be string that goes in through that hole and up through that and in to the book. So I will show you how that works in a minute. Now I've got some duct tape here and I've got some string. So what I'm going to do is tape this string to the book right here with the duct tape. So now it is taped and I taped it in a zigzag pattern using three strips of duct tape to make sure that it was very secure. Now we are going to put this string through here. This string is through. You're going to place the book all the way back where it is going to be sitting. And in this case, these books are going to be just slightly moved over like that. And then you're going to take the string from the back, make sure that it's relatively taut and then loop it through the hole in here. So you are going to loop it through the little hole in your latch and make sure that it has a little bit of slack, just a little bit. Then you're gonna tie your string off. You're gonna to wanna to use a really strong string here. This is a plastic-based string, the kind that you actually use a lighter at the end to burn. And this is a good one because it's gonna be strong and it's not gonna break. It is tied off. You don't have to do this, but I ran the rest of the cord down the back so that if I decide to face this door in the um, future with something more pretty, then I can have this connected to something on this side where I can pull it in order to open the door. So now that this is done, it works because it latches and then I'll show you a demonstration. So. Make sure the door is in place, the book is in place, and then you close the door and it doesn't open until you pull this book and then it opens. So there you have it. And so this is the finished product of the door and I'm going to sit back and let you guys enjoy it. So I really hope you guys liked this video. I really enjoyed making it and I really enjoyed this bookcase door. I am so happy with it. Be sure to like this video if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you like my work for more of what I do. And I definitely will see you guys soon with another video. Have a lovely day. Bye!